Uba oscillator or phase shift quad op amp oscillator is shown here realized using four ideal op amps in blue. We are using two supply design, of course. We can use uh, just single supply to design, but let's focus on the actual oscillation problem here. We want to prove that the frequency of oscillation, if you have a stable oscillation, is this one. So we're talking about 1 over 2 pi RC. And at the same time, we want to also investigate and uh, see that the RF, which is the feedback resistor in the gain uh, in stage divided by RG, should be equal to 4. Basically, the required gain in this circuit need to be 4. So that's what we are trying to do. Uh, at the same time, we want to investigate the loop gain, meaning that when we start from V out and we traverse through the whole circuit back to V out, what is the loop gain in order to have a stable oscillation? Okay, so let's start. Let's make the assumption that we are applying VCC, the positive supply voltage, and negative VCC properly to all four op amps. So it's a double supply design for the sake of this conversation. And then uh, with that in mind, we are making the assumption that no op amp is saturated, so all op amps are linearly operating. Now, at the V out, uh, we, we can see that V out is at the positive input terminal of op amp number one. So it's an op amp number one, it, it is in a buffer structure or format. So V out comes to the positive input terminal, V out goes at the output. Now V out appears at the output of RC, simple RC low pass filter, passive low pass filter, V1 shows up at the output and just using a voltage division I can write V1 over V out is equal to, uh, again we are doing sinusoidal steady state analysis so impedance of cap is 1 over JC omega 0, omega 0 or omega naught is the frequency of oscillation. So therefore I can write 1 over JC omega naught divided by series of R and 1 over JC omega naught. Now if we clean this up, what we get is V1 over V out is equal to 1 over 1 plus JRC omega naught. So let's keep this as equation number one. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Now, this V1 is again at the input positive input terminal of a buffer. So what happens is, assuming this buffer is properly bias, V1 shows up at the output. Now again, V1 is at the input of RC network. Let's make the assumption that as a part of proper design of this circuit, RG, the resistor you see on top, is much, much larger than R. Therefore, we can neglect RG in terms of loading of this RC at the bottom. So V1 goes in, and then at the output, which is input of RG, let's say V2 comes out. So for V2 versus V1, we can write exactly the same thing as we saw here for V1 and v, v out. So V2 over V1, repeat, 1 over 1 plus J, RC, omega naught. That's equation number 2. Now, this V2 on top is at the input of an, in, an inverting amplification stage, which has feedback resistor RF and input resistor RG. So in order to find V3 at the output, it's, uh, it's already, it's, this is well known, but I'm going to just say that it's as if you have, it's as if you have a current that goes this way through R, RG and goes through RF. So it's a KCL effectively at input negative terminal of the op amp that is written, what you can say, if you don't want to memorize any, any formula, is something like this, that V2 minus uh, zero voltage at negative input terminal matching the zero at the positive because of virtual short, divide by RG should be equal to zero minus V3 at the output divide by RF. And if you, if you shuffle things around, clean up, you get V3 over V2 is negative RF over RG, as is well known, the gain for inverting amplifier. So that's equation number three. Okay, lastly, that V3 is again at the input of a, a given RC a simple low pass filter on top. So we get V3 to V4, and the relationship between V3 and V4 is exactly what we saw for V1 and V2. So V4 over V3 is equal to another 1 over 1 plus J RC omega naught 
divide uh, and then that's equation number four so okay almost there v4 appears at the input of a buffer again we're assuming that op amps are properly bios so it's a buffer stage v4 shows up at the output and uh, v4 now is at the input of another rc low pass filter in which v out is the output so and therefore because of that i can write again the same thing v out over v4 is 1 over 1 plus j rc omega naught and that's equation number five now multiplying all these equations meaning that uh, when we when you do this so effectively when we do uh, let me change the color so that it's better clear so what we are doing is something like this okay so it's as if i say v1 over v out times v2 over v1 times v3 over v2 times um, v 4 over v3 times v out over v4 so all i wrote here is the product of the right hand left hand side of all these equations you saw here and you can see that obviously what we expected is v out cancel out uh, is uh, let me okay v1 cancel out v1 v2 cancel out v2 v3 cancel out v3 v4 cancel out v4 and finally v out cancel out v out so as expected when we, when we loop back through the whole circuit we want the gain of one so left hand side right hand side should, should match that basically loop gain this is loop gain that i wrote so this is loop gain and on the right hand side of this whole thing we have negative rf over rg and then times uh, you can see that we have four similar components and it would be one over 1 plus jrc omega to the power of omega naught all of these are omega naught at the frequency of oscillation so to the power four so now this is the final equation that we need to satisfy using different color this is this thing is it has to be equal to one loop gain okay as you can see there is a negative sign here so and you have a complex number here therefore we need in uh, a pi rotation total so from that complex number we need j squared so that it cancel out um, the negative one that you see there okay so what i can say is huh since uh, we want this whole thing to be equal to one effectively what we are saying is uh, absolute value of uh, effectively what we are saying is let me make sure i'm not missing something okay let me change the color so what we need to say is absolute value of rf over rg should be equal to absolute value of um, one plus j rc omega naught to the power four so that's one thing that's satisfying the amplitude four phase we are saying um, let me see if i have enough space okay so four phase we are saying phase of um, 1 plus j r c omega naught as a complex number should be equal to so this phase should be equal to pi over 4 because we have to the power 4 in the denominator so if this phase is pi over 4 the complex number to the power 4 in the denominator would have a phase of pi which is exactly what i want um, that would that would result in canceling out the negative sign how do we get into phase of a pi over four it requires that the imaginary part which is which is rc omega naught to be equal to real part in order to get a phase of pi over four so rc omega naught should be equal to one the real part should match imaginary part therefore omega naught is equal to one over rc which means since uh, f naught is omega naught divided by 2 pi it means f naught or f of oscillation should be as simple as 1 over 2 pi rc exactly as we wanted so that's proven now the nice thing is 
we just said RC omega-naught at the frequency of oscillation should be 1. So this thing, therefore, because of what we just found, should be equal to 1 plus j to the power 4. And uh, absolute value of 1 plus j to the power 4. That means rad 2. That means rad 2 to the power 4, which means 4. So we found it. Basically, we proved that the absolute value of gain, RF over RG, should be 4 in order to have a loop gain of 1 so that we have a stable theoretical oscillation. And then the frequency of oscillation is also found here. In real life, there are non-idealities and impracticalities. So because of those things, the gain actually might be required to be slightly more than 4 because of losses that are not foreseen. But uh, there are mismatches and stuff like that that in real implementation need to be considered. Nonetheless, the Buba oscillator is one of the very good oscillate oscillators because it, ha it can realize, if it is properly designed, it can realize sinusoidal oscillation that is very much symmetric uh, with uh, minimal distortion. I hope that this is helpful.